Look, let's move on to another topic. David Crow uh, from uh, the Sydney Morning Herald and the Age is reporting that a Labor MP has complained to the caucus meeting about the, dig the government's digital platforms review. That's a process that is you know, challenging online giants, including Google and Facebook. The government is obviously deliberating about how to respond to this inquiry. Do you think the government should be taking action on this? Clearly, there, is, uh, there are concerns on the Labor side on this one. Well, I noted the... Uh uh, the David Crow article uh, today and while I'm very careful of respecting caucus confidence I would make this point I was the MP who raised the questions I think the government's taking too long on this uh, they have dragged the chain on on this uh, on the response and then out of the blue in the middle of a pandemic decided that they would break off the discussions that were being held in terms of the draft believing that they weren't satisfied on things um, I think the level of uncertainty is unacceptable uh, and I am concerned the proprietors in this climate do not want to take any wrong step uh, to upset the government. Uh, I, I cannot believe, for example, and I've had very deep concerns, and I'm sure I'm going to get pummeled for this uh, by members of the media uh, when I make this statement, but you know, the government committed a, one of the worst budget bungles in Australian history, and they basically uh, got slapped with a tissue, uh, frankly. I, I cannot believe... Uh, that in this climate, uh, given that decision, that that happened, uh, I believe that the Treasurer should not be the person calling the shots uh, in, on the response for the ACCC digital platforms inquiry. should go to the comms minister and we should have thorough, absolutely detailed uh, inquiry and focus on the Treasurer's decisions uh, in terms of some of these things that have happened uh, without any suggestion. You know, he should create the independent... Uh, atmosphere okay. that allows allows uh, for uh, people to be you know able to ask the right questions. You preempted that you'd be you know criticised from the media, and I'm going to put my hand up and say I'm one of these people because I wonder sure. what's your evidence. I mean, just what's your evidence? Oh, please. That, well, hang on a minute. That the media is not criticising the treasurer, Josh Frydenberg. That's what you're alleging because. Yeah. It's trying to get a favourable decision on this review. Like, where's the evidence of that? Well, the proprietors are scared silly about this. I mean, you had last year... Hang on a minute. Extraordinary well, where's the evidence? I'm going to answer it. You had last year, Patricia, the extraordinary instance of Channel 9 hosting a political fundraiser on its own, on its own turf, largely because the, prior, 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 the proprietors, who understandably, this issue is a big issue for them in terms of digital platforms, but to have a fundraiser on the grounds of a media outlet, wrong. You know, and you look at some of the coverage in terms of the weekend, like all you have to do in terms of the Sydney Morning Herald these days is bag out China or bag out superannuation and you're guaranteed major coverage. Not by front benches, mind you, by back benches. And this is clearly raising a question about whether or not, um, from my point of view, and I'm happy to have the argument, I'm happy to be bagged out for it, um, you know, in terms of dragging this out, the government should not have this dragged out further. They should deal with the digital platforms inquiry, give assurance um, to the media players in this country that they can tackle Google and Facebook and move on. And, you know, as I said before, and the other piece of evidence I would cite is the fact that they've hardly uh, laid a glove on this government over one of the worst budget bungles in Australian sure, budget history. Sure, but that's your analysis. You're well, you asked me. Yeah, I did, but I'm now criticising <laughs> or critiquing what you're saying because that's through your partisan prism sure. uh, that you, you've, you, you've made these certain conclusions. I agree. But you're also joining dots that I don't think you can join uh, about motive. You might not like the coverage, but you're making an assumption about their motive that you can't prove. I'm absolutely making the assumption I agree with you there, and I absolutely draw on some extraordinary events that have occurred over the last 12 months that I'd never would have thought. And, and if it wasn't that bad an issue, why did you have most people within those organisations get up in arms about them? Because they knew a line had been crossed as well. And I think the focus should go uh, on the government and it should be free of any suggestion that we have to wait any further on a response from the government on the digital platforms review. And I, frankly, I don't care. I'll cop a lot of criticisms for it. I, I, I frankly don't care. It's a democracy. I'm entitled to raise my views and I'm entitled to put forward that debate and they can prove me wrong. Okay.